Sunday on Fox News. Brit Hume and Juan Williams got into a shootout over the attorney general's actions involving James Rosen. The problem is that it went to Holder and he okayed it. He okayed the work of his I investigators. That, you, and you, so now, you're saying, as he's the not attorney general, you're saying he's not ultimately responsible as the head man of the Justice Department. Well, that's why he personally being asked to signed look at off it. on this. That's what he signed off on. The question well, he signed is off to, on look, it. How, to how, go back and look at the work of the investigators. I understand that, but injustice. how can he, if he signed off on it, how can he investigate it? Because now is an opportunity, and he's the exact right person as Attorney General of the United States to see what prosecutors did and how they came to this conclusion. Well, he We've saw seen this he was done supposed, Wasn't he supposed to see all that before he signed off on the affidavit? You can't see everything. We'll talk with Juan in a minute, but come on, Holder knew what he was doing when he okayed the spying on Rosen and Fox News. To be fair, there's a valid national security situation involved in the Rosen matter. As the Washington Post reported today in a story planted by the Obama administration, the fact that James Rosen went public with North Korea's threat to test a nuclear weapon could have, could have implicated someone giving information about that country. So national security was involved, but not at the level that would prevent any decent reporter from doing the story. Rosen didn't name a source and did not leak any information. It was Stephen Jin Woo Kim, a State Department employee, who has now been charged with a national security crime. He has pleaded not guilty. The Rosen and Associated Press situations both come back to Attorney General Holder. Right now, he's just holding on by his fingertips. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, the aforementioned shootout between Hume and Williams over Mr. Holder. First up, from Washington, Juan Williams. Holder can't see everything, Juan. That was lame. That was, come on, even you. That was, can't see everything. This is big, Juan. When guy comes and says, we're going to tap, not tap. We're going to look at the phone records of a Fox News correspondent. You look at everything, Juan. Come on. Let me just tell you, what's lame here, and I think you got it right in the Talking Points memo, Bill, is people who don't realize this is about national security, that al-Qaeda has no right in the AP case to know that we have a double agent operating within their their council in, in Yemen and, and you know trying to bomb a US plane. And similarly in the North Korea case, there's there's a real national security and I don't dispute issue that. if and you I don't have think North Korea it, knowing that we have someone inside Americans, their nuclear operation. All right. I don't think fair minded Americans dispute that. But with Holder, you got a whole different ball game. Number one, he says on the Associated Press League, which was about Yemen and Al-Qaeda, right. that he recuses himself because he may right. be accused of being one of the leakers, which is ridiculous right. and absurd. No, he doesn't put that in writing. He didn't you put don't it in writing. To. No, you don't, you're right. You don't have he to. He didn't have to. Law. No, you don't have to. But he should have, as any lawyer will tell you, he should have. Number judges two, with don't Rosen. Put it, judges don't put recusals in writing. It's not, I mean, we can change the law, but that's not the issue, Bill. He's not a judge. He's a top law enforcement agent he's in the country. Listen. If he's yeah, going to recuse right. himself, he should write a memo exactly saying why so everybody knows it. Number two, it isn't about national security with James Rosen. It's about accusing Rosen in a stupid affidavit, which I'm, I hope you've read. It's yeah. stupid of being part of a conspiracy to out a source in North Korea, when everybody knows that's fallacious and dumb and never happened, including Holder. Yet he signed off on it. Come on. Let me do Okay, so let me respond here. One, this is really an outrage to call any journalist, but especially James Rosen, who has a lifelong yeah, okay, career in journalism so you agree with and me works for a mainstream stupid. news organization. But here's the thing, Bill. You've got to distinguish between a Julian Assange in the WikiLeaks case or a Daniel Ellsberg in the Pentagon Papers case. These people are leakers. Rosen is a real journalist. So, so what are you but, saying now? So, so what you're saying I'm saying that, that Holder is, made a foolish mistake, and your defense Holder, of Holder is he didn't, he can't see everything. That's absurd. It's no, absurd. so let me finish my point, Bill. So my point to you is what happened in the Rosen case is Rosen is using sort of dead end email. He's using uh, aliases, you know, phony names right, to try well, to so get why? this information. Come on, get to the point. And that led the FBI and some of these prosecutors then to decide we want to know more about James Rosen. All right, fine. I think at that point they should have said James Rosen's a real if journalist. If, and we shouldn't go if after that's him. the case, he doesn't have to be named a co-conspirator. You go to the judge 
who uh, ridiculously, after two judges wouldn't, by the way, a third judge signed third off judge on it. Did. And, then exactly. you, and then Holder says he alerted Fox News and News Corp that this was happening. We don't have any uh, record of that. No record ridiculous. at all. All right. right. So hopefully that'll be proven one way or another. Because yes. they said they hopefully sent an email. The they, sent, they sent FedEx. Holder could do it. Holder should have done it last week. That's when he said he alerted us. Show us the memo. He He's should. like, you know, in the Tom Cruise money show movie, show, show us up. the money, show us the memo. He can't. He it. doesn't have it. And then well, you, we'll Juan Williams, after all of this, tell Hume, who I think wanted to punch you, that <laughs> Holder not. should investigate all of this himself. How absurd yes. is that? That is not absurd at all. Oh, He's geez. the right guy. He's exactly the right guy oh, to investigate God. this, Mr. O'Reilly. I'll tell you why. He's a veteran prosecutor. Oh, yeah. You've obviously had prosecutors make a so severe mistake about himself. the relations between a legitimate journalist and someone who's interested in a probe <laughs> why? into Listen. leaks that could endanger American national security. Why? We need watch to have the some replay. guidelines. Watch the replay of the fact that I listen to yourself. You are saying that this guy who made all these mistakes, Holder, should investigate himself. He should investigate oh. the prosecutors underneath him and the FBI no, it's agents. Him. Who, it's wait, listen, signed it's not him. It's him. He signed an affidavit. You could say that about the judge, Mr. O'Reilly. You want the judge <laughs> investigated? No, I'm just saying to you, as a matter of law enforcement, we need to have clear lines right, so that real reporters don't get caught up in a national security <laughs> snare and somehow treated so, as co-conspirators. All right. So we'll have Holder investigate himself. That'll be, that'll no, be great. No, it's not investigating himself. <laughs> He's investigating mistakes made all in the right, course yeah. of looking into why mistakes national security made by information him, was leaked. He made them. He ordered it. All right. He didn't. Well, I got to get the Hume. David presented to him. I got to get to him. All right. Well, well, have a good time because right. I think that you will hear that national security is an interest of uh, us all. All right. Well.